Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. Today's is going to be Bill Elliott's 19, no, 2000. Uh, it's weird to say it like that, 2000, not 2001, 19, no, 2000, McDonald's for Taurus. This is the 25th anniversary, uh, so it's kind of a special edition. The normal car had more red on it. This one being since the 25th anniversary with more of a special paint scheme and had a few less made and stuff like that. So uh, we'll start with the box, being it is the Elite. We do have the sleeve and clamshell style, so you see the clamshell box underneath. There's our sleeve. One of 2508 for the 25th anniversary 94 McDonald's car. So that's what we get for the box. Um, go ahead and take a look at this car here. So down the left side, right off the bat, the first thing you'll see is the Goodyear Eagles there. Uh, a little bit wider than the stance even. They kind of stick out, but that's okay. Uh, we got the red on the front. Obviously, that's iconic for McDonald's. But then as you go down the side, you got the silver, yellow, uh, red numbers. Kind of a wacky font. Not going to lie, never liked this font ever. But it is there. So uh, we got Super 8, drive McDonald's drive through up there. You can see we've got... Uh, Bill Elliott something, Silver Anniversary. Silver Anniversary, 20, was it 20 years? No, 10 years. Is that what it was? It was 10 years. This is 2000, I don't know, don't ask me. Anyway, you can see it's got uh, Bill Elliott, Silver Anniversary. You can see all the sponsors on this car. You get to the front, a bunch of the, uh, the contingencies. You got Coca-Cola, Bosch, Ford Racing, Bill Elliott up there. Actually, the roof laps are open as well because it's an Elite. Um, on the back of the car, we've got no sponsor around here. We've got the Ford logo. We do have Reese's on the back, which always love that. Uh, fuel cell in the rear uh, with the black chassis, and then you can see the tubes and stuff hanging in there. Uh, right side is the same as the left. We've got that silver. we got the yellow. Red numbers there. NASCAR 2000. That's an iconic logo if I've ever seen one. Uh, get to the front of the car, you got the silver grill plates here on the top and bottom, black valence around the base. You see the tires kind of stick out on each side, but got the Ford Taurus front end, which in my opinion wasn't the best front end, but, you know, this is what it is. Big kind of, I don't know, big looking McDonald's arch. Not quite, I don't know, maybe it's not tall enough, but definitely doesn't look quite right for the McDonald's arches and Coca-Cola on there. Uh, let's go ahead and pop it open and take a look under the hood here so we can take a look at the detail. Uh, you can see here we got the silver air filter container, uh, a couple of hoses and, and wires running in here. Can't hardly see them though. There's a coolant line, there's an orange line, there's another uh, wire going there and some, uh, I think those are plug wires, I can't really tell running around there. There's some orange wires in the middle there, but good engine detail, especially for the year of 2000. Uh, go ahead and look underneath. You got DIN number 2708, or is that 22? Sorry, 2208. Working rear suspension. You can see that. It, it's not painted. None of the details are in there, but it does have a working suspension. So you set it on the rear, and the, the rear end will go up and down. Uh, opposable wheels here. Uh, does the drive shaft spin? It does not. Uh, but the front end also goes up and down. Not quite as much. It, there's not very much travel in it. Not like the rear, but there is some travel. But overall, um, very, very good die cast, especially for the for the era. For 2000, this is a very solid die cast. You know, uh, better than what you get for any of the ARCs, probably up till 2007, 2006 maybe. But it is better, or is not quite as, you know, it, it is more detailed than, than all of those, but uh, the paint scheme itself is a pretty unique one, so figured I had to have a, a video on it while I had it, though. So, anyway, that's really all I have on this one. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, let's see here. Comment, like, subscribe, notification bell. That's probably it. Um, anyway, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. This has been Race Graze, and we will see you in the next Diecast Review.